Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch, and today we're going to do a flip through of the world of cross stitching. Stitching. This is issue number 325. This is another really great issue. Uh, I really do enjoy this magazine. There's a lot of Christmas and winter designs in it that I'm excited to show you. I have flipped through this on my own very, very briefly, but I haven't marked anything. So first up, we have... Um, the uh, Lucy Heaton Furry Tales, and this is a super darling one this month. It's a little mouse with a turkey friend. I think it's just so sweet. It is 40 stitches high by 38 wide. This is the freebie. Oh, here it is. Uh, so I get the physical copy. And so with the physical copy, I get the freebie kit that comes with it. But if you get the digital copy, no worries, you will still get the pattern. Um, you just have to supply your own materials, but you still get the pattern. So it's this little reindeer uh, ornament for your tree. So that's really cute. Uh, this one is 54 high by 54 wide. This next one is inspired by Hallmark, it says. It's called Jolly Festive Bear Hugs. It is, I don't see the stitch count here, but we'll look, it'll be on the next pages. So I think he's really, really cute. It says the approximate stitching time is 30 hours and that it's good for beginners. It's just cross stitch and back stitch, no fractional. I think he's really cute. And you really could probably leave this one up through winter. Um, this is 111 high by 89 wide. So he's very cute. They have a lot of reader, um, letters and emails that they sent in with pictures. So that's what I was skipping over. This next one, this is one that I will mark. It's called Perk Up Your Day, designed by Susan Bates. I tend to really like her, her designs. This one is expected to take around 50 hours. I just think it would be so cute in, um, like, if you have a breakfast nook or your kitchen. Um, there are fractionals and backstitching, of course, in it. But I just think it's so pretty. I just really like that style. So I would like to stitch that for somewhere in my, I mean, I have one whole open room, but somewhere closer to the kitchen side. That one's a lot of work. <laughs> this next one is Pet of the Month. Um, they, um, Doreen Jones. Wait, let me make sure. Okay. So people will send in a picture of their animals and she will design just a really small chart of that animal. Um, so this month it's a, it's a boxer mix, I think they said. Boxer cross dogs. Um, this one is expected to take about eight hours. It is 43 high by 43 wide. So cute. Next up is designed by Emma Congdon. We have a series of Happy Hanukkah cards. There are five cards in here. So for those who celebrate Hanukkah or if you know somebody you want to stitch it for them, uh, these are really cute. Really, really cute. Takes about five to seven hours each, and there's just cross stitch and some back stitch in each one. Each one is, or it says maximum stitch count is 45 stitches high by 46 wide, so not too bad. I have to show you this. So somebody wrote in, this is Ask, ask the Experts, and somebody wrote in, they said, I want a pattern I can make for my best friend who not into cross stitch, but she supports my habit. And so they suggested um, this Friendship Sampler by Maria Diaz, 12 sweet motifs of girls depicting the changing seasons alongside a beautiful quote about friendship. Um, the design uses whole stitches, back stitch, and French, French knots and is available as a downloadable chart. And it doesn't say where you can get the chart but if I can find it I will link it down below so this is the chart they're they're talking about 
Isn't that cute? So it's little girls throughout the seasons. And the quote says, Through the, though the seasons may come and go, our friendship and love will forever flow. So if I can find that download, um, I will put it down below. Because I just thought that one was extra cute, too. All right. Next up. Oh yeah, this one is, I'm gonna I'm gonna flag as well because I want to stitch this. This is called Seasons Tweetings, designed by Carol Thornton, and this is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Expected to take a hundred plus hours because it's full coverage. There's cross stitch, fractionals, back stitch, French knots, and beads. This will keep you busy for a while, but I think it's just gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it's a lot of work. And it calls for, okay, light effects. So there's DMC, the bulk of it is DMC. There are some light effects that's called for. There's some DMC satin that is called for. And they do give you a little bit of how to stitch with satin threads. Um... Yeah, so here, let me show you this close-up of some of the beads and all of that. I have to cover part of the chart here. So you can see, you can see there's some beads in there. It's kind of got this like watercolory feel to it. I really, I really, really like this one. This one is, let's see, the stitch count, 130 high by 160 wide. Full coverage. Full, full, full coverage. If you want to stitch that one with me, we can figure out a time to start it. That might be a good one to start, like, next year. Let me know. Um, okay, so this next one is called Festive Traditions, and it is a design library of 42 global ideas of Christmas time in different countries with an international collection by Maria Diaz. And so... I can show you some of them because they haven't finished. So there's Kwanzaa, there's Solstice. Um, look at that. I think that's really pretty. This one is hilarious and amazing. Uh, Merry Christmas from Down Under. It's a snowman made out of sand, a sandman, which I love. Um, and you could just change the words if you were like, well, I live in Florida, for example. Um, just say Merry Christmas from Florida or... I just think that's so smart. A sand, I've never seen a snowman made out of sand, and I, it just seems so obvious. Oh, here, these are like a little bit bigger, so you can get a better idea. Um, I just think that's so smart. That's so smart if you live in a warmer climate. And then, so there's a bunch of these. These are just a small handful. And then the rest... Um, are just the charts. So there's a bunch, they're just all very, very small. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Saint, uh, Saint, Saint Lucia, I think is, is what it's called. I mean, they're just, uh, God Yule, which is, I believe, Norwegian. Um, there's an alphabet. There's some gnomes. There's the Krampus. Someday I'll tell you about my Krampus story. Um, next up is Fabi's Masterclass by Fabi Riley. And every month she teaches you a new stitch or a new technique. And this month we are learning the feather stitch. And so you have this um, gnome, this fall autumn gnome. And you are learning how to do the feather stitch which I think is in some of the leaves, maybe. This is expected to take about 21 hours. I will not be doing this one because I'm afraid of gnomes. They terrify me. Um, this one is 88 high by 38 wide. Um, it would make a really great bookmark if you were into that. Okay, this next one is by Fiona Baker. It's called Happy Stitchmas, and it's a series of four... Um, cards maybe six to ten hours each and these are black work or color work I guess 
but the skill is black work. So you can kind of get an idea. I think they're really pretty. Look at that snowman. So those are really, really, I mean, I think they're just so beautiful. I just love this magazine. I think it's so great. Um, the maximum stitch count is 65 by 65. So they're quite small. Yeah, so they are card size. Four and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. So they are not very big. Um, I think these would be really cute. You could even do all four on one and just frame it as one piece if you wanted to. That would be cute. Okay, this next one, I also really like this one. Uh, it's called W is for Winter but by Maria Diaz. Um, and it's stitching time is approximately 45 hours. There are cross stitches, cross stitch fractionals, backstitch, and French knots. Um, and it says mix and match motifs. So you can mix and match this. So it's kind of like a winter sampler. I think it's just darling. And I like the, the shading, right? They talk about how it has realistic shading in it. And I think it's just beautiful. I'm not sure how I would do it. I don't necessarily want to do it as, as it is. I might just pick some of the motifs and do something with the motifs. Um, but I think it's really darling. It is 108 high by 178 wide. All right, this next one is by Doreen Jones. I actually really like this one, except I wouldn't stitch it on black. Um, this takes approximately 65 hours, and it's called How Many Sleeps? And it's like a countdown chart. So how many sleeps until Christmas? And so you do all the numbers, and then you do this chart. Um, I know why they do it on black, right? So the white will show up. I don't know what color I would do it on. I would maybe soften the colors a little bit, right? That's more, you know, like a little bit softer. Um, but I think that's really, really pretty. It is 100 stitches high by 144 wide. And that doesn't include all the, the numbers. So you have numbers 0 through 9. And you might have to make duplicates to some of those, right? All right. The next one is designed by Jenny Vanderweel called Hug a Hottie. It's about 50 hours for the set. And it is this, it's meant to be like a hot water bottle, but you wouldn't have to use it as that. I think it's just cute as is. Stay cozy. Um, I think that would just be a really cute thing to frame or make a little pillow out of. And then you also get the Hello Winter. They're using it as a mug warmer. I think those are really, really cute. Those are um, 90 stitches high by 89 wide. I think that's really cute. You could even pull motifs out of it um, and just stitch the motifs if you wanted to. So I think that's cute. I have to show you this other one that I really like. So um, Anna Pavluk of Sweet Annette, who is from Poland, they kind of um, show her style. So look at this. Look at the stamp. So that's a design of hers. I think those aren't those beautiful. So it's you get a lot, you know, a lot in this magazine, a lot of articles, and you learn a lot from it. Okay, then we have okay, so next month. So because this is coming from the UK, mine is delayed. This is the next, it shows you what's coming up in next month, and it says this issue is on on sales 29th of September. Well, you know, I won't be getting it for a little bit yet, but here's some things to look forward to next month. So we get a little sneak peek, which is really, really fun. And it's not everything. We have the how-tos in the back. We have our... Um, crossword puzzle and that is everything so this is again this is issue 325 of the world of cross stitching let me know what you liked and what you'll be stitching and I will see you next time bye